So how do you navigate the iPhone without the home button? Now, it might be a thing for people switching from the iPhone SE or something like the iPhone 7 or 8, and obviously the newer models don't have the home button. So the way that it works is that you always pay attention to the little bar at the bottom of the screen. So it looks like a little line right there, and this is important because it kind of replaces the home button. Now, every time you are inside of any application, you can just grab it like that and swipe it up toward the middle of the screen and the app will simply be closed, right? So that's very useful. You can just use that gesture instead of pressing the home button, right? So that's like the main obvious thing. Outside of that, you used to double click the home button to go to the multitasking panel. This, however, is now also done through the gesture you again grab the handle at the bottom. You don't swipe it up quickly, but you just drag it, still holding your screen on, the finger on the screen like that, and all of the icons will appear as they did before. So that's how it works, right? So not only it replaces the home button, it also adds a little bit more like fun or, you know, it kind of works well, as you can see, it's very fluid. What's also important to know is that you don't even have to leave the application. You can still just be inside of any app and horizontally scroll through the bar or handle at the bottom and switch to another application, which is, again, very useful in that sense, right? You just go through the apps like that. You can multitask very quickly using this gesture. And yeah, this, that's basically all. I mean, a lot of people are kind of scared when switching to an iPhone, being used to the home button. But, you know, it's not that big of a deal. You're going to get used to it very quickly. So that's it. Let me know below your experience. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you in the future tutorials.